Hello, this is Lawrence Jordan from Crosstalk Radio Ministries, and it looks like I need to expose the continuing on slandering and attacking me and defaming my name, especially by my ex-radio partner, Patricia Hageman, Larry Davenport, still involved, and Kryn Breve, which is Carrie Dado, her false name, Missy Jo Allen also um, joined in with them. Charlene Clark and Mark Faber have been quiet. Charlene Clark has charges against her from the Gila County Sheriff's Department for defamation of character, cyberbullying, and breaking a restraining order, um, slandering me. And I also have reports where she falsified reports from neighbors who never wrote things. She's a criminal, and Detective Karen Boltz on one of my prior videos has called her out a liar and a criminal, and she has charges pending against her. She has no credibility at all, and she lies. She is not a pastor or a pastor's wife. Um, their church in Strawberry, Arizona is a cult. Everything she has said is a lie and made up because I exposed their false home church as a cult. Being I was there, I witnessed, attended it, and seen their doctrines directly violations scriptures and their false dreams and visions which go against the word of God let alone the abuse and uh, accusing all the Christians that came there of all having demons and needing deliverance. And Charlene Clark had the special gift to lay her little hands on them, at which I seen Jose Lopez and several other people go into trances for two days bumping into walls. This is not normal, guys. When somebody cast out a demon, it's supposed to be gone. But this woman was actually transferring them. That's Charlene Clark right there. This is Mark Faber. He has pretty much apologized for the past and no longer continues. Mr. Davenport, which Patricia and him, when they turned on me over a PayPal button on my um, SoundCloud page, Crosstalk, which was my page, turned on me um, and started accusing me all over the place and putting the same old slander blog stuff up on Larry Davenport's wall. Stuff that even the police, the sheriff's department, debunked as false. He was so angry, and Patricia, both of them, they turned on me. Now, this man just threw Patricia off WTBL radio. I wonder what that story is, Patricia, you're not telling everybody about. Missy Jo Allen, I believe she was a bystander caught in the middle of it. I forgive you, Missy Jo Allen. I love you still, sis. I hope that you repent and turn away from... Uh, letting people suck you into false doctrine and false teaching, let alone slander. Crin Grieve has had it out for you from the very beginning. She started the slander blogs along with Barbara, um, which is Constance name on, on the slander blogs. She pretends like she's a victim. Guy, I put her face up showing everybody that she was one of the originals. She pretends like she's the victim, but she's actually an instigator, and she has two or three slander blogs on myself, as it is. This woman is pure evil. Women are not to be slandering or gossiping, the Bible says, let alone trying to correct men of God or teach them, or assume an authority. That's exactly what all of them have been doing. All of them. So, Mr. like I said, Mr. Mark Faber, he admits he went too far with making all those dirty pictures. Crin Grieve did not make the dirty pictures, but she was liking and affiliated with the same people. She calls them innocent. There's nothing innocent, Crin Grieve, Carrie Dato, about making pornographic pictures and sticking my face and Patricia's face on them, is it? Or making fun of my father going up in a tornado. You were part of Mark Faber, Larry Davenport, Charlene Clark. All of these are wicked people doing this stuff. And Crin Grieve, you say they're innocent? Carrie Dato? Crin Grieve? You're really deceived. If you think they're pastors' wives and pastors, Charlene Clark, and they do that kind of stuff, I've got false reports. This woman was making false reports of Mary, Mary Lou Binnick in Strawberry, Arizona, and posted them as facts and signing uh, Mary Lou's name to him. That's fraud. That's in the police department thing. I'm going to go and show you. Let's see here. Where is that document? 
Let's see if we can find it real quick. I got several documents here. And I'm going to find the one where I could show you proof. I got a million windows open. I wish I could see them. Hmm. Screenshot. That's not in there. Let me find the one. Well, Mary Lou's uh, deal was... Uh, Okay, first of all, let's start from the beginning here. Um, this is Patricia and Davenport mad at me. And I told them that they had no right to tell me I could not have a PayPal button at the suggestion of my other brothers and sisters in Christ, also who used to preach with me, Don Cons. He's the one who suggested, you know what, you've been paying for this out of your pocket, the cost of Crosstalk Radio, Blog Talk Radio, and your SoundCloud cost, which was not that much. He says, go put a PayPal button on there and, you know, donate button. Don't make a big deal of it. You don't have to have a bag -a -thon. These, Miss Patricia Hageman and Larry Davenport came on glued and attacked me all over their Facebook walls. And my reply was, I posted this September 5th, 2014. I quit. WTVL Radio, Watchmen on the Wall with Patricia. She's lying to everybody on the internet that they threw me off. They removed me. They fired me. She has put this publicly that I was removed. Here we see my post for this date, a screenshot off my own Facebook wall. Please comment below. And I'm talking about whether it's right to for ministries to you know, receive donations. Of course it is. It's biblical. No, we're not out living high on the hog. It was per cover the very minimal cost of my crosstalk radio stuff, guys. So, I said I will no longer be under the minister. I can't be a minister under manipulation and control. I told them, um, I can't, they told me I could not post on my own SoundCloud website account, which I opened and been paying for out of my own pocket for the last several months. I was told I can't place a link by Patricia Hageman and Larry Davenport for help to help pay the monthly fee on my own website. My word, talk about control and manipulation, not on my watch. Keep your radio. This is where I quit, guys. I quit Watchmen on the Wall with Patricia, and I split off from her, and I started my own crosstalk radio with Don Conth and Richard Belvin and Jason Schofield. Amy Loins was a witness, and Jennifer Schofield was there too. I told them to change their passwords, act like a baby, which they did. I don't care. I will not be controlled or threatened, but what God wants. Thank you, love you, shalom. Right there is proof Patricia Hageman is a bull-faced liar. She's spreading lies to all my street-preaching friends, all of my friends. Everybody on, on the internet, she's lying. That I was removed. She's a liar. Here's what started the split of Watchmen on the Wall. I quit because I was controlled and manipulated. I was told by Patricia to do four shows a week. I was tired. I was grieving. I needed time with my family, my sister Diana. We needed to be together. And I was told that I was supposed to be in the Shabbat live service on Saturdays, and I told her, no, I want to spend time with my family. I needed it. After all I've been through, all of those who had died, even my dog, and all the persecution and hatred I've been going through, I needed some rest. I didn't even want to do radio at this time. Patricia would not let me rest. She knew God had called me and anointed me. She kept pushing me and pushing me. It finally broke. And it turned out to be over this radio program. I mean, over this PayPal. But she had been betraying me before this. I knew she was joining up with Davenport. I had every indication of a betrayal was coming. I've had warnings from other brothers and sisters. I should not be yoked up with a woman preacher who teaches men and assumes authority and who's correcting and rebuking men of God. This is out of order. She is not a watchman. I have been in her house personally and i've seen the fruit how she's not under her husband she rebukes and yells and she talks behind her own husband now, leanne glover and i know everything about patricia now she's told both of us and several other people 
that he was a hitman for the mafia and had killed people in his past, and that's why he's backslidden and feels guilty and doesn't want to serve the Lord. She said that with her own mouth. She also told me in private while we were in her office together doing live radio while I was staying at her house for a visit that she believes her husband molested her own daughter, bless her heart, uh, Bernadette, Praise God, I, 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 I'm pretty sure she's in heaven with Jesus. Hallelujah. She said that uh, Kevin had molested her and felt guilty for that. Now, Patricia, you're telling everybody that this is a lie. Why would you tell me this and Leanne go over that? So either you're lying or you were just trying to set us up, Patricia. Either way, you're disrespecting and you're slandering your own husband. You know what? You probably should have never said that stuff about Kevin. But the fact of the matter is, Patricia, you're two-faced and you're a backstabber. Even to your own family, you would do that. You will sell on anybody to keep uh, people under your power control. I've watched you personally yell at your sons. They are not boys. They are 21, 22. They don't work. They sit around and play Warcraft on the videos. You say they're all godly. Please explain to me why they stay up all night and play Warcraft and asked me during a Sabbath day um, dinner how to practice black magic and how to cast a spell because of my past being involved in Wicca. I would not tell your sons that. I told them that they need to get right with Jesus, read their Bibles, and pray and know the truth. That's the correct answer. And I dare you, Patricia Hageman, during a supposedly holy time of Sabbath, to sit there and let your sons bring up the occult when we're supposed to be honoring Jesus Christ. Patricia, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are a vile liar. Please tell everybody about your new apostolic reformation Latter-day Rain roots. How you used to jump through portholes and fire tunnels. How you gave $50,000 to all these false teachers of Todd Bentley, Rick Jordan, Bill Johnson, IHOP. Latter-day Rain, Dominion Now, Prophetic Movement. All of this occult kundalini stuff I've been exposing for a long time before I even met you. And then you supposedly acted like you repented. But you're still friends with all these wicked people. Even your old pastor who's still in the kundalini uh, occult garbage. Still prophesying lies. Still saying, thus saith the Lord when God hasn't spoken. Making prosperity gospel type teachings. Still, Latter-day Reign prophetic movement, like Elijah list. Still, Bethel Church garbage coming out of you. I just dropped out. It just dropped in my spirit. These are word of faith movement sayings. These are not scriptural. Patricia is still very much deceived by the New Apostolic Reformation. She's also a Judaizer. Hebrew Roots movement. Sacred Name movement. She's portrayed many Watchmen on the Wall preachers. She's also portrayed many street preachers, such as Dan Corner, Jocelyn Jocelyn, and uh, Jason Arnold, many good godly men of God. She will turn and attack them and slander them because they don't keep the so-called Ten Commandments she thinks they should. Do. She's teaching men. She's trying to correct men. She's slandering men. She's out of order and she's not under her husband. She's not under submission. She's not under a covering. She's doing this ministry by herself. And I was guilty and I left it, saints. I left, the, I left it. I was guilty for being yoked with a woman preacher against scripture. I confessed my fault during a live radio show with four elder men while we were bringing correction and rebuking Patricia and Larry Davenport for accusing me of trying to... Hold on, let me pause for a minute. Be right back. Now here is Patricia and Larry Davenport saying that I tried to lock him out of his server. This was the first attack after she betrayed me and stabbed me in the back. She lied to everybody I was removed. I already showed you the proof, the screenshot a few minutes ago. Now this is a screenshot off Larry Davenport's wall. Right after they attacked me and tried to slander me. I have several witnesses that joined with me. Now, um, once again, I confess to many brothers and sisters that I repented from ever being under a woman preacher ever again. And some of you street preachers out there, brothers, 
I know you're godly and you're on fire. Do not let these women pull you into this garbage. They are not to be teaching or correcting men. The scriptures in Titus and Timothy are clear in 1 Corinthians 14. All of these forbid these women to be trying to be like an elder. Only brothers, the Bible says, the husband of one wife, they must have their wives, must not be slanderers given over to, to wine, the husband of one wife. The qualifications are men for elders, not women. This woman has assumed authority and tried to attack me and other brothers. She is not a godly woman. She's not a watchman on the wall. What she wants is fame and glory and an audience to teach men against the scriptures. In fact, I'll show you where she's written a false note against the word of God that women are allowed to be preachers over men. Hold on just a minute. Let me go find that. Here we go. Miss Patricia is against the word of God saying that women are allowed to preach and teach over men and they can be like elders and watchmen. Let your women be silent, misunderstood passages. She's trying to explain the word of God away that she's allowed to attack brothers and sisters in Christ, that she's allowed to preach and teach and correct men of God. She's allowed to bring accusations against God. The Bible says do not bring an accusation against an elder except by two or three witnesses. Here she's making fun of man elder. This is a defiling Jezebel feminazi woman who hates men, despises authority, and is trying to actually debunk. Now, she lies about her husband, big time. She actually signs under his account and acts like she's him, because her husband really wants nothing to do with all this junk. He's a sick man who's in the living room all the time. And... She tries to say the whole family is godly and that they're involved in her ministry. She is not. Kevin is not over WOW Radio, Watchmen on the Wall. Patricia's running the whole thing, and all he does is make some of the artwork sometimes. He is not on the radio with her. He doesn't know what she's doing or anything. So we've got a real problem with this. Hold on. So now is not only Patricia out of order in her house and out of order preaching and teaching men, but when the, the betrayal came, the split of me leaving her as my partner on Watchmen on the Wall, they said, you are not allowed to have PayPal buttons or donation buttons on your Crosstalk um, SoundCloud webpage that I was paying for in my pocket. But look at these hypocrites. They were asking for money on their website the whole time. WTVO Radio, PayPal credit card, right there. And there's the two that turned on me and said I couldn't do it. Now, what kind of fruit is this, saints, to tell a brother in the Lord, a minister, you cannot ask for donations and the hypocrites are doing the exact same thing. There's nothing wrong with supporting the work of the ministry, saints. I support street preachers out there, no-namers who travel across the country by faith with no income. I send them money because I see fruit in their ministry and they're preaching the gospel. One was just here visiting me, helped me make a cross. We went out street preaching. What an awesome time fellowshipping. And yet these hypocrites turned on me and said, you're not allowed to have that. We're going to remove you. They did not remove me. I left. I showed you the screenshot earlier. It's right here. Look at that. I left. I will no longer be controlled and manipulated. Pray I will leave. I did leave. I will, I will not be controlled by anybody. Jesus tells me what to do and how to minister and what to do. with. When this kind of control came... That's when I left. And you know, I went to advice by many brothers. I went to Angelo Sanchez. I went to Don Contz. I went to Jason Schofield. I went to Andrew Braddon. Several brothers. And I sh they all know what was going on. They watched the portrayal. They warned me she was going to do this. Patricia is a snake. She's not a woman of God. She draws you in to build herself up, brothers and sisters. You street preachers, watch yourself. She's using you to build up her audience. It's all about her idol of radio. 
She cannot live without that radio. But where's her covering? Where's her husband? Where's her grounding in the word if she was so tricked by the new apostolic reformation, NAR, prophetic movement, latter-day reign, kundalini false fire tunnels taking her sons to them, walking through occult activity in these harlot churches, spiritual adultery, apostatizing, stuff I've been exposing for a long time. You see my videos, the tribal drum beat, oh, oh, oh. that's the stuff Patricia was involved in. Who does she think she is a watchman when she couldn't have the discernment or the grounding in the word to test the spirits, whether of God, for many false prophets of God into the world? She's not a watchwoman, saints. She's a deceiver, a Jezebel. Here's Crin Greaves' vlog that she's got up right now. She's still attacking me. This has been going on for years. She's been a slandering me. Making false reports. Where is she getting the information? Charlene Clark. The same one who's been writing false reports. One after another. One after another. Pausing for a moment to grab another doc. Now, Crin Grief says Charlene Clark, a, a pastor and his wife in Strawberry, Arizona. Look what the fruit of the Strawberry, Arizona cult called a strawberry church, a church in Strawberry, Arizona used to be called Agape Harvest. Dan and Charlene Clark falsifying false statements and using my neighbors as though they had said stuff. Mary Lou testifies to the Gila County Sheriff Department Detective Karen Baltz, which they have this on record. There's charges against Charlene Clark pending. Crin Grieve, Carrie Dato. You say they're innocent? Really? It says here, Mary Lou says that they were stalking me coming by the trailer park and they were falsifying statements I never said or gave them permission to. The Gila County Sheriff Department, Detective Karen Bolts, has this on record. And Carol, Mary, I'm sorry, Carol and Mary Lou Bennett and Willie all signed this document and sent it to the uh, police department. That's called fraud. So tell me again, Crin Grieve, how these are innocent pastors and pastor's wife in Strawberry, Arizona, and I'm the slanderer. I have been exposing these people as a cult for years because they are not only dangerous, they destroyed 21 people, destroyed them. Their doctrine is false. Their dreams and visions are from demons, and they're in direct violation of Scripture and their Latter-day Reign teachings. Many watchmen have called out the Latter-day Reign Doctrine, Dominion now, New Apostolic Reformation, abbreviation for that is NAR. Kundalini impartation, false shepherds, false apostles, false prophets, even like the Elijah List, Bethel Church, Morning Star, Todd Bentley, uh, Fresh Fire. Crin Grieve, you have slandered me falsely, and all the information that you and Patricia and Crin, all of you are are putting down are all from liars like Charlene Clark. Uncredible. When they bold-faced lie, the police have caught them. My neighbors have testified them lying. Right here is the document. They are liars. And I have a video on YouTube. My, dis my conversation with Detective Karen Baltz as we debunked the slander blog people. She calls them all liars. There's no charges and I had done nothing wrong. Crin Grieve, you have slandered me all over the internet. Patricia Hedgeman, you wouldn't grab the same old lies that they used to say about both of us on those slander blogs. That's called betrayal. The same ones. Pausing for a minute because we're going to go show everybody how you confronted them with your fake accounts, Patricia. One called Peggy Kolecki, and the other one called David um, Belmont. Two of your fake accounts that you went started speaking to these slander blog people and you caught them in their lies. Yes, and Detective Karen Bolts has all that too. You are a snake, Patricia. You're two-faced and you turn on anybody that it fits your pleasure so that you can continue to build yourself up. You are not in it to build Jesus Christ and the church of Jesus Christ. You are in it to tear others down and to make yourself look good that you're some kind of a godly woman. You're fake. You're as fake as ever. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab those documents right now. Now, here is the 
emails from Patricia, her undercover name, which is this happens to be her mother's maiden name, Pe Peggy Kolecki, she starts to speak to Charlene Clark, the so-called innocent one that Corinne Grieve calls innocent pastor's wife. This is what she says about me t to a complete stranger. She doesn't know it's Patricia. Patricia, by the way, Detective Karen Boltz was given the password to Pat Peggy Kolecki's account, which was Patricia, another fake account that she was using to spy, but she got information to clear my name. You see what a snake and betrayer Patricia is. One minute she's for you, the next minute she's stabbing you in the back. Here's Charlene Clark speaking to Peggy Kolecki. It says, well, he came here on, on his own from Oregon to join our ministry. Yeah, by deception. Down the hill from here, he's a, he's a homosexual. First thing you should know is I talked to his ex-lover. Hello. No, she did not. Lived here with LJ for a year. Uh, a lover for 15 years. They're calling me a fag. Guys, this is a lie. Okay. She says, he's a stalker. He's a liar. He drinks and he smokes. I've had many brothers. I go to Phoenix for sex with men. I'm not a Christian. He moved around the country and he was kicked out of all the places where he went to. Um, I've had that info too. I have two files two inches thick and statements from others. These are all lies that this woman has made up from the so-called neighbors or wolves in sheep's clothing cults that I've called out. That I was there and I seen it with my own eyes and their doctrine was heresy and it was abuse in these false groups. All of these are new apostolic reformation groups guys, Dominion now, NAR. Not only that, they were trying to, by deception, scare people to death to join together what they call refuge camps. And I found them out. They were very abusive, and their teachings were false. Their dreams and visions, once again, were false. So she said, I don't know much about Patricia except what others have told me. And they all say uh, she is more evil than LJ. So they're even saying Patricia is more eviler than I am. Patricia. Then you went to Charlene Clark later on when you turned on me. Look at you. Charlene Clark's posting the slander blog. Oh, okay, here's some juicy stuff about Lawrence. Here's who's watching the Watchmen on the Wall, WordPress.com. Look at that. And Patricia under her undercam. Oh, my goodness. Like she doesn't know what it is. The conversation goes on. All of this. The police have, or Sheriff Department, Detective Karen Boltz, Gila County Sheriff Department, Pace in Oregon. So you see what a snake she is? One minute, Patricia's for you. And she's trying to debunk Charlene Clark. Gets her confess that I actually tried to murder people, which now that's also a lie. Ben Bratz was a wolf in sheep clothing. All the pastors even know about it there. He was a pedophiler and a, a womanizer. Having sex with all these girls, he divorced and remarried, dumped his wife, wasn't paying child support, went to jail several times. This guy made a false report, and Charlene Clark put it on the slander blog that I tried to kill him by loosening Scott Fulmer's, uh, his Suburban, which I was allowed to drive all the time, too. It was not Ben Pratt's Suburban. It was borrowed. Scott Fulmer was one of my best friends in Strawberry, Arizona. He left Charlene Clark's cult. He knew it was New Apostolic Reformation. Annetta Fulmer, his sister, also knew they were a cult. They are known as the False Church of Strawberry, Arizona. Every pastor will tell you that. Charlene Clark is a liar, uncredible. She's not a pastor. She's not a deliverance ministry. She is a cult. Her and her controlled Ahab husband are liars. She made these false statements. She got Ben Pratt to make these statements. Ben did not like me because I knew Ben was a, a liar. I went to Calvary Chapel with him one day in Payson, Arizona. Right afterwards, we went to Walmart. You know what he did? He dumped me to pick up this chick to go home and have sex with her. I'm going to be going home with her, uh, Lawrence. I won't come home with you. I'm going home with her. Admitted he was going to go have sex with this woman. Guys, he's done this several times. Now, that suburban was parked right next to Carol 
Bennett's trailer. You can't even open the hood on a 1976 Suburban without making squeaky noises. She would have heard that hood been open if I loosened the bolts. Why would I do that to my friend Suburban? Scott Bulmers, which I loved him. I love him as a brother. He's a, a missionary in Kenya. He knows I did not do that stupid nonsense. Ben Pratt made that up. Manny, Manny, their so-called elder for Dan and Charlene Clark. He kept trespassing on our property to go visit another ex-cult member named Jose Lopez. Jose was not even supposed to be having him on the property. Scott Bomer did not give them permission to trespass. He continued to come on, and all of us agreed in the trailer park we did not want Manny at all to be on the property. He came one morning, and I came out, and I told him to leave. You are trespassing. We're going to call the police. Carol and Mary Lou, all of us, told him to get off the property. He did not do it. I grabbed him by the arm and said, you are going to be off this property now. So he tried to resist. We got into a scuffle. He says I tried to attack and injure him. That's another false report they put on the slander blogs. Manny is a liar, and he was one of their fake elders who's not even saved or serving the Lord. Shacked up with a, a woman, too, a divorced woman, by the way. See how they lie? They lie through their teeth. These, and then Patricia's grabbing all their lies and pushing it on her slandy blog as though they are fa fa uh, as they are true. When she already in the past debunked them all with me, we proved them liars. Through all of this evidence, I got six or seven hundred documents. Don't have time to put them all in the video. I have several other videos, saints, that I have shown the proof of the slander blogs and all the lies and debunked them. The, with the help of the police department and screenshots and evidence. What liars they are. They should be an absolute shame for sitting there lying in the name of Jesus Christ and bringing false testimony against a true man of God, a brother who's on fire for Jesus. Believe me, I have laid my life down for Jesus Christ. All these false accusations are stupid and lies. And then he said, she said, gossip lies. But Corinne goes and gets her lies from Charlene. Charlene got her lies from um, just uh, false testimony and making them up. Making them up. And then signing as though somebody said that. What does Proverbs chapter 6 say about that? A false witness. One who sheds innocent blood. Feet that are running to a lying tongue. These are an abomination to the Lord. Six things the Lord hates. Seven are an abomination to him. Mark Faber made those dirty pictures. Like I said... He's semi-apologized, said they went too far. He said it should have been dropped a long time ago, even though he probably did some of the worst pictures I've ever seen in my life, those nasty ones. He stopped. He had enough common sense to let it go. So did Larry Bo Davenport. I believe he threw Patricia off his radio show because she kept slandering and giving him such a bad name. Nobody wants to broadcast from WTVO from a slandering woman. Hello. A backstabber. A gossiper. Malicious gossip. Something happened she's not telling us about publicly. Care to tell us why you're no longer WTVL Radio, Patricia? You're on YouTube and you're trying to gather an audience of street preachers, evangelists, who don't know what a snake you are. Ask my friends. Chris Palmer. Ask Don Kantz. Ask Angelo Sanchez. Ask, um, who else? You can ask Jason Schofield. You can ask Richard Belvins. You can ask, um, oh gosh, my word, there's so many of them. What a snake this woman really is. All of them. They see the proof. They have watched how they have attacked and slandered me for years. I'm surprised they're not in jail right now. But cyber crimes and harassment like this deprimation of character are very difficult from interstate to interstate. Detective Karen Ball still has an open case. All of it has been... Sent to individual states. There's a case on Davenport and Shelbyville, Shelbyville, Tennessee. One in New York City on Mark Faber. Once it was already done, I couldn't reverse it if he apologized. The fact of the matter is, you guys want this to all stop? You need to make a public apology to me, clear my name, and take all your lying slander blogs down. Everything. Then all my stuff showing what you've done will come down. And your faces will be removed. 
I did not slander you. All I did is put your, your pictures up and the evidence of your slander you did on me. I wasn't slandering you. I wanted this to go away and stop. But you never would. For five years, you've got harassed me. Two years for you, Patricia. Join back up with Davenport, you betrayer, backstabber, liar. You've been caught lying over and over and over, Patricia. And you're get grabbing slander blog stuff that have been proven as lies that came from Charlene Clark. And you post them on your slander blog as fact. You and Corinne Grieve gathered together and said, let's get them. Out of vengeful hate, you have came after me to try to destroy me, Mrs. Hageman, Corinne Grieve. You dragged Missy Joe Allen. You tried to drag a lot of people into it. You tried to drag Betsy Williams. Street preacher Betsy Williams and John Williams. They don't know the facts. She was an innocent bystander. I don't know what happened, but you cut her off or she cut you off. Patricia, you can't stay to see, stay friends with anybody. Every person I've watched you try to ma uh, minister the radio with, you have turned on them and you stabbed them in the back. You have stabbed M Missy, uh, I'm sorry, uh, M Mercy, Mercy Ann and Christine, uh, 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 what was her name? Mercy Ann and her, her mother, uh, Christine. You stabbed them. You've stabbed just about, you stabbed everybody. Dan, Dan, um, Corner. You st stabbed Lee, uh, Jocelyn, uh, what is his name? Jocelyn Leland, Leland. He's a street preacher. You stabbed me. You stabbed even Larry Davenport in the back. You have stabbed every single person you ever ministered with, Patricia. You stabbed even your, um, your old, uh, Pastors and stuff. Your old churches. You got a ba bad name for yourself all through Florida. You go around, stir up trouble in these churches. You say that you have a right to rebuke them and that you're a watchman. No, you're a woman. You're not allowed to be rebuking and correcting men. You let the true men elders scripturally as God chose 12 apostles. 12 men elders. The scriptures tell us about the elder positions. They are the bishop, the deacons. The uh, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, all of them are men positions. It tells us the qualifications, the husband of one wife. It says their wives must be in order. They must not be malicious gossips and slanderers. Given to much wine, how can they tend to the house of the Lord if their house is not uh, in order at home? Kevin is not over you. You are over him. I've watched it over and over. William Thomas has seen your household. We can ask him about what he's seen in your household. Yeah. Your divorce and remarriage to Jean. You know, you've tried to cover that up. You don't admit it to everybody. But you act like Kevin is a godly man, a pastor. I don't care what his past is. What is he living like now? What's your house being ruled by now, Patricia? We don't hear him on the radio. We don't hear him saying, this is okay. I have the approval for my wife to do this. No. And she's not supposed to be preaching, teaching men. So he's in error if he's allowing you to do that. A super authority, teaching men, and correcting, slandering, gossiping, lying, backstabbing. Playing one person, then playing for another to keep your name up there to say, look at me, I'm a woman preacher on WTVO radio and on WOW radio, watchman on the wall. You have stabbed so many people in the back, Patricia. No wonder you have very few followers and very few friends. Now you're after my street preacher friends. I'm going to say something. You're going to be exposed. You are a liar a slanderer, and a backstabber. You are not grounded in the word. You're not qualified to be preaching and teaching. If you were tricked by the new apostolic reformation, fire tunnels, glory clouds, angel dust, holy yoga, healing rooms, if you were deceived by IHOP and Todd Bentley, Rick Jordan, Bill Johnson, Bethel Church, if you were fooled by all this kundalini fire, this false revival latter day rain stuff, then you ain't qualified to be preaching and teaching the word. 
I tell you, only men of God who search the scriptures as Bereans. They compare the word of God to the teachings of men, to the experiences that are manifesting in the church buildings to say, is that God or is it a devil? And you could not tell, Patricia, it was a devil. You are not qualified to be a watchman. You are easily swayed by every wind of doctrine and movement that comes your way. You are not a watchman on the wall. You're a deceiver and a liar and a hypocrite. According to scripture, you're not even qualified. Even if you were allowed, you're not even qualified to teach younger women because you don't have your house in order. You're a slander and a gossiper. You're supposed to be teaching the humble things a, a woman of virtue should be teaching to younger women, not to men. That's what the scriptures teach. The older are to teach the younger. But you're not even qualified for that. You've stabbed so many people. Even your friend Peggy up there in New York. What you told me she was a lesbian and you were sleeping in the same bed with her when I was visiting you for an outreach, a wow outreach. Patricia, talk about an appearance of evil. You were sleeping with a lesbian in your own bed? Or so-called ex-lesbian. I don't know. The point is, Patricia, you are a hypocrite. You take all kinds of false reports and you try to turn on the brothers and sisters in the Lord. You slander maliciously. You go grab old lies that were debunked on the old slander blogs that were against you too. You too were slandered, Patricia. You were slandered also. You went to the same wolves. The same ones that put your face on those nude pictures, Patricia. All my brothers and sisters, all the my brother, uh, mature elder men have seen those dirty pictures. They can't believe their eyes. That you would turn to such people as that to turn on me. Is your hatred for revenge that much that you have murder in your heart, Patricia Hageman? That you actually go to wolves and sheath clony and join them to try to destroy me? Here is a few months after her portrayal. She started attacking myself and Todd Tomsella. Todd might have a past, but you know what? Get over it already, Patricia. His past is his past. He's repented of it and he's paid his dues. Leave him alone. He's a man of God watchman. He's doing more good for the body of Christ than you ever would or ever can. Because he's rooted and grounded in the word of God. I respect Todd. He made some mistakes in his past, but you know what? Who the heck do you think you are digging up people's past? If they've repented and they're right with God today, who do you think you are? Accuser of the brethren, Satan. Who accuses the brethren day and night. You are a watchman slanderer. You spy, you stalk, you screenshot. You try to draw my brothers and sisters in Christ into your lies and your slander to try to destroy and cause divisions. The Bible says to mark those who cause divisions and contrary doctrine and avoid them. You, Patricia Hageman, are turned over to Satan in the name of Jesus Christ for the destruction of your flesh because of the divisions you have caused in the body, the havoc you've caused personally on me in the ministry of Crosstalk Radio. And everybody else involved that you've tried to destroy. You are turned over. You are a slander and a divider. You are not a builder of the body of Christ. All you do is destroy. You have a path of destruction. I'm sorry I ever joined up with you. Biggest mistake of my life is to join up with a woman preacher. Who slanders. Who's not grounded in the word. Who lies. Who deceives. And who is out to build their own name up. I had to correct your doctrine so many times when we were together. I had to show you proof in the Bible of things that you were taught in church which were outright false. And here you are, Patricia, slandering me all over your Facebook wall. With Kelly Holder, Carrie Dato, and Corinne Grieve. Nelson Bayag uh, Bajgra which is now her n new radio uh, partner. Nobody wants to stick around with Patricia. She stabs everybody in the back. They get tired of her lies and her slander. Her, her big mouth, and she preaches and teaches stuff directly against the word, like women be silent, misunderstood. She's purposely trying to debunk the scriptures. Us men of God know. 
The Word of God is the Word of God. We stand on it. We don't twist it all up and try to justify women preachers. She's also got one of her best friends with Patricia Lige. She said women are not supposed to be pastors. One of her best friends, Shepherd uh, Sadie McLeod, is a, past, a black pastor of a church. She's a woman pastor leader, the head pastor. And yet Patricia the hypocrite has her for a friend without rebuking her. Patricia, you're a liar. You're two-faced. You say one thing out your side of your mouth and then do another. You got a woman preacher, pastor of a church, in a leadership over a congregation of men and women. You're a liar, Patricia. Plus, you still have Robert Relicelli, your old pastor, who is full-blown nar, who prophesied lies and parts demons, the Kundalini, and he's not grounded in the Word of God. He's very apostate. You've been admitted to me in private chat. We got, I, got, I got all those chats still. You're a two-faced snake, Patricia. Breaks my heart that I have to do this. And by the way, when you had your three strokes during a live radio show, you were doing with Davenport slandering me, saying I'm narcissistic, and that I'm a psychopath, and that I'm not even saved. I'm a witch. I'm a warlock. I'm a homo. You fell down and had three strokes and three brain aneurysms. Three strokes, you're out. God was telling you something. I gave Jezebel, that woman, a chance to repent. She did not. Therefore, I will throw her in the sickbed. Revelation chapter 2, Jesus speaking. He will not tolerate these women teacher preachers. That's a Jezebel controlling Re rebellious spirit, which is the, the sin of witchcraft. I love my sisters in Christ, but you know what? There's a place and a, uh, and a, a leadership uh, authority structure in the Bible. You women, many of you, are breaking on purpose. Some of you know better. Some of you sisters are some godly, wonderful sisters. You're women of virtue and you're humble. You're filled with the Spirit of God. You love Jesus. You love the Word of God. But these women that are trying to attack men of God, you're out of order. Bible says not to bring an accusation against an elder, except by two or three witnesses. They better be other men, elder men. This is why I've been going to the street preacher brothers and telling them, and showing them the proof that you are a liar and a slanderer. And that your witness is false, Patricia. That you've been caught lying, Patricia. Look at the slander. All These are all all over your wall from the last two years. It's all there. I got it all, Patricia. If anybody wants to see it, I got it all. That she is a snake and a liar, a backstabber. There's Carrie Dato. Right there, that's Crin Grieve. That's her fake account. Oh, her and Patricia been having a heyday slandering me and lying about me. Totally lying. And look how she tries to draw all these... See, there's Betsy Williams. She was drawn into this and David Williams. Street preachers. She didn't know the facts, Betsy. She was pulled in as another sucker to be a co-host for Patricia. Once again, Patricia probably slammed her Hebrew roots movement down Betsy's throat and, Patri and Betsy turned and uh, blocked her or something. There was a division. That's typical of Patricia. She's done it to many brothers and sisters. She slams her Hebrew roots movement, Judaizer stuff, down their throats. That's why they started the slander blog in the first place because I was affiliated with this woman. And she is a Hebrew roots movement. I'm a New Testament gospel preacher, cross preacher. I'm not a Hebrew roots movement person. I hate that stuff because it causes divisions and they're not, their focus is not even on Jesus in the New Testament. Their focus is on the Old Testament law, but they are not looking at the New Testament commandments and the, the new law of liberty, the law of the Spirit, the law of being born again, Galatians, Colossians, Romans, all of I mean, the whole New Testament is the new life in Christ that the Christians are supposed to be focusing on. Not the Old Testament. Most of the Old Testament, the Old Law, and the prophecies are, are still our edification, but our focus should be on the new born-again man and living right before God. This woman wants to go back to the Hebrew Roots Movement just like the rest of them, and sacred names. They're always using Yahushua and Yehovah and Yahweh and all that. Nothing wrong with those names, but slamming it down, the brothers and sisters, and saying, you're not saved because you don't use Jesus' name as Yeshua. It's wrong.
It's wrong, guys. That's causing divisions. It's attacking the brothers and, and uh, bringing chaos. Now, right here, Patricia, just after I've informed my street preaching brothers and sisters, she slandered me. That one blog disappeared because Larry Davenport threw her off WTBL radio. Of course that blog disappeared, Patricia. You won't tell us the truth. Then she goes and posts the same slander blog she copied and pasted a terrible job of it. Big old spaces in between it. She po posted the same slander garbage on her Watchmen on the Wall web page. Look at that. It says here, above this line, we'll be posting all new episodes. Look at how she actually enjoys stalking me. I'm going to get you, Lawrence. I'm going to keep attacking you. I'm not going to stop. Mr. Lawrence, here she says, Mr. Lawrence, Larry Jordan, Stefanski. I'm adopted, guys. My adopted name is Jordan. My birth name is Stefanski. She made fun of it and said, you're lying about your name. Hey, I use both my names because I hate my Jordan name because my parents that I was adopted by were horrible. My father was a Freemason, guys. Hello. The one that died. My real father is Leo Stefanski killed in a tornado a few years ago. And they made fun of, of him. In fact, I'm going to pull those pictures up right now. I'm going to show you some of the filth that these people did. I'll show you. And Patricia calls these people righteous and brothers and sisters. Talk about backstabbing portrayal. Look at the filth. There's 31 dirty pictures. And guess what, Patricia? Your face is on them too. Did you forget? Did the wicked all of a sudden become righteous so you can join with them to attack me? I explained all of the slander blogs. Who did what? Look at all this. Look at that. Is that appropriate putting my face on a, this man putting down uh, another one putting his hand down his pants calling testing the bat pole? Mr. Mark Faber? This one here is the screenshot Davin, Larry Davenport's I didn't do those slander blogs and one of his own radio show hosts preachers named Jason Arnold caught him in a lie. He researched it and found out that he was penny back in the slander blog on his church website Agape for You. Found it, screenshot it, called Davenport on the, on the carpet as a liar and then Davenport turned on Jason Arnold. Davenport's turned on many of his street pre on, on, on his preachers on WTBO radio. That's why you don't want to join that wicked radio station. That man is a two-faced backstabber and a liar. He's not qualified to be a preacher. Look at some, from some of these. I'm not going to... I already exposed all these. But look at this one right here. Just look at this one. Hey, Patricia. These guys still righteous in your eyes? Naked pictures. Your face right next to the genitals there. And my face they photoshopped on there. Are they righteous doing this, Patricia? Tell me. By your fruits. Good tree, bad bad fruit. Good tree, uh, bad, oh, I'm sorry. Bad tree, bad fruit. Good tree, good fruit. By their fruits you shall know them, Patricia. Did the wicked slander blog people doing this stuff become righteous because you got mad at me over a PayPal button and decided to betray your brother? And your friend and your team and your your partner on radio? Really, Patricia? Are you really that low? Making fun of my depression after people were dying in my life that I cared for, including my dog and my dad in the tornado? Here's Patricia with our faces floating. Patricia, the people that make these, are they righteous? Are they holy now in your sight? Was this right to do this, Patricia? Oh, here's a, a picture they made, Patricia, on the slander blogs. This, this is the ones that uh, Dennis Thies, Mark Faber did. Now, he said that he went too far with this, okay? Mark is no longer doing this stuff. Look at this. Making fun, saying, I'm going to hell. Is this the way men of God act, Patricia? Tell me. Look at this one they made. There's Patricia's face, and there's me. Down below, they put all my faces on there like there's, I'm nursing off those uh, breasts. Is that godly, Patricia? No. Here's one they sent to me in an email and put on the slander blog. It had satanic screaming music to the actual song. That's my yellow lab that died they made fun of. 
They put a naked man, photoshopped my face. Is this the way Christians act? Is this the way you said those people were righteous and I was the wrong people, Patricia? Really? Really? Mark Favor? Larry Davenport? Crin Grieve? Really, Charlene Clark? They're all righteous. You turned on me for the people like this, Patricia? Really? Really, Patricia? Who's lying? Look at these pictures. Here's another, this one's the one that Mark Faber and Charlene Clark had all over the place. Corinne Greed, you say that they're innocent. Really? Look at this. L Watchman Lawrence Jordan, the dynamic. Saying I'm demon possessed, I'm in bondage. And I'm sick and I'm crazy in my head. That was on the slander blog, Patricia. Did you forget that? Here's your buddy that you decided to betray me for. WTBO radio, uh, CMTV host, Larry Davenport. Has he become righteous in your eyes after all this, Patricia? Here's the picture they made of my dad going up in a tornado when he died. And, uh, um, 2013, I mean, sorry, tw uh, 2013, May 15th. Mark Faber and them made it. They all laughed and made fun of it. Making fun of somebody's father dying while I'm grieving? I was on NBC News, guys. I was devastated. He was my real blood family, their last living parent I had. And this is how you treat him? Did the rapture happen already? Really? Really, Patricia? These are the people you turned on before? They're righteous now in your eyes? Really? Really? Oh, here's the one Mr. Faber made. And Charlene Clark hit the like button, thought it was funny. My yellow lab, Beasley, dying. And they set this on the yellow, uh, on the slander blog. Beasley says, hello, dying. Well, I'm hurting. You know what? You know, our dogs are like children to us. To do this is fiery darts of the wicked one from these people. Trying to hurt my heart. This is demon-possessed people doing this. This is not from godly Christians. A saint to God would never do this. They would have hurt and pain for you. It's called loving those and bearing one of those burdens. When somebody hurts, when one member of the body suffers, we all suffer with it. We are to bear one another up in love. To do this when somebody's father or their dog dies, Patricia, you joined up with them and called them godly after them doing things like this. What if they did this to your cats that you loved and your dog? How would you feel? Really? Are they godly now, Patricia, in your sight? Let's see what this is. Here's Miss Patricia at the big. When she started the first turn, I mean, she goes and contacts slander blog maker Charlene Clark and says, I sent you a message, Charlene. I'm going to turn on Lawrence and I'm going to turn to you and I'm going to turn on everything. And I'm going to attack him. Even though I knew what you did, Charlene, because I showed you the, the letters earlier the police have. As Peggy Kolecki. This is one of the first things that Davenport Patricia put up after they tried to frame me that I hacked into the WTVL server and messed something up, which is completely impossible. Only uh, Davenport had access to that. So he's another liar. They're trying to say that I fled Strawberry, Arizona. I had charges pending against me and the police were trying to build a case. I called Detective Karen Baltz live on a telephone call. I have a YouTube video of it. You can go look at my YouTube channel and listen to it. They called Davenport, Patricia, and um, Corinne Grieve, all of them liars. She goes, all of these people are vile liars and to sue them for a million dollars. There's no char charges pinned against me. They lied, made blatant false st statements here. This is defamation of character, cyberbullying, criminal crimes, guys. Detective Karen Bolt says this is an absolute lie. Davenport grabbed it off the slander blog after he decided they were going to turn and attack me over a PayPal button and started going, we got to destroy him, Patricia. He knows too much about us. We've got to try to destroy him and his ministry, otherwise WTBO Radio will never be respected. Because everybody's seen how we stabbed Lawrence in the back over a PayPal button when we got PayPal buttons on our own websites. P Davenport, Patricia, you hypocrites. You're hypocrites. Here's a threatening letter from Mark Faber and, and Larry Davenport said we're going to juice up those blocks blogs and make your dynamic head spin and this is a gift we took down the first slander blogs but we'll put them back up again if you don't you know if you don't do what we tell you to do basically 
It's a manipulating, controlling attack letter from Mr. Davenport and Larry, uh, Larry Davenport and Mark Faber. Patricia has copies of all this. She turned on me for these people. Patricia, you are a snake. I've been holding off for a 